Such an atrocious production. Beautiful Thursday afternoon. I'm very excited to be here. This is uh, this is something I never used to care about, but I'll tell you, everything lions right now, the hype, the excitement, I'm into it. And let's just dive right in, shall we? We all know how each of us are doing. We've been talking to each other for two hours. I don't like the Lions opener. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love that the Lions are opening up the NFL season in Kansas City. Go ahead, raise the banner, have your Lombardi trophy, have Kelsey air humping the moon. I'm in. Because ultimately, here's what this is about. Many of you have cried like little children. Respect us. Help me. I'm poor. Okay. But you know what the league's not in the business of? Putting a flea-ridden mutt on the opener. The Thursday night opener. They put good matchups out there. And for me, this is a recognition that the Lions are now viewed differently. Now, you have to go out and play. But I don't care. Because, like, no offense, guys. This isn't Michigan. You don't get to hide for the first month. You got to play somebody. It's the NFL. Whether you play the Chiefs there, week 6, week 10, week 15, doesn't matter. They're the Chiefs. I love the fact we start out, you know what I really like, Rico, I'm being serious. You'll say it's geeky, you'll laugh. I get 10 days to prepare for week two. Then no matter what happens in Kansas City, I get a little half by week. You know what? I get 10 days to prepare for week two. Mike, we are on to Kansas City. (laughs) Okay? Week two doesn't exist. We are on to Kansas City. Okay. I I love, no, no, I love the week one matchup especially for all the Detroit Lions fans, because it does say you're relevant. It does say the league paid attention to how you finish the season, that 8-2 run. The league paid attention to how how hard you played in that Packers game, even though you knew you couldn't go to the playoffs. You didn't give up. You didn't throw in a towel and say, well, whatever, we're not going. The league hates us. You went out there. You played. I love the game. I hate the opponent. I don't like the fact that it's the Chiefs. I don't because you're going up against the MVP. You're going up against the Super Bowl champion, ring ceremony, it, and you're going into the game minus your one of your best wide receivers because he can't play for the first six games. I'd rather this game be played later in the year. I told you. My preference, I hoped that it was going to be in Germany because I think that would have leveled the playing field. But the Chiefs, man, I mean, Mahomes is 5-0. and in his uh, home openers, they're averaging 38 points. You got Good. a young second. Like, this Good. is one of those games where I was looking forward to the game, but I don't know if you're going to be ready for the Chiefs game one. Now, you got all summer, and 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 I think the, 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 the show before us put it best. This is going to basically be a pregame show for the entire summer, talking about week one and sure. everything that leads up to it. But – I love the fact that you're on. I love the fact that you got a lot of, you know, think about this. Last year, you know when the Lions played? I can tell you, 1 o'clock on Sunday. That was every game minus Thanksgiving. And then they flexed the final game out. The league says you got a little bit of juice. Show us what you got. We're starting to believe in you. Don't go out there and embarrass yourself. I love the game. I don't like the opponent. Well, next time we'll get a pre-approved Rico list of opponents we can play in week one. <laughs> I just don't care. It's anyone, anywhere, anytime. It's the NFL. I'm down. Thank you. And as long as the Lions go out and don't show their ass, I agree with Rico on this, as long as they don't go out and embarrass themselves, I'll, I'll live with the result. But I want there to be a test. I want there to be a bar. Like Rico, yesterday, you called this a town full of speed bumps or whatever the hell you said. It was like a low bar to chip trip, trip over or whatever it was. Like, If we all sit here and talk about this team and we're we're so, I believe they're going to be really good and win this division, then you know what? Go out there and play the effing game. I don't even care who you play. Show up. You know what? All summer, all summer, you're going to think, the the, the players, the coaches, yeah, Kansas City is going to be raising a banner. They're going to be getting their rings at halftime. Good. Good. Make that the best part of the night. I love it. I don't care. I'm ready to play. And as far as the J-Mo thing goes, you know I'm a slappy for J-Mo, but let's be clear. I cannot call a human being with one career catch my best receiver. 
I said at, he was expected to be one of your better receivers. Yeah. Well, right now I don't even know if I expect him to to be a player in this league. I've had enough. Had enough. But I want to know where the people are at with it. Look, Rico, Rico. I'm sure some of you agree. But for me, it's like if you're going to believe, it's time to believe now. This idea that we're dodging opponents, worried about who we're playing. You know what, dude? Do it the last week of December when you're playing for seeding and you have a conversation of who you'd rather play. Would you rather go A or B? What matchup works better? The regular season, if you think the team's going 11 and 6, 12 and 5, guys, I got news for you. You better win a lot of games. You better play tough teams and beat them. I like the fact you got to go to KC. And Rico's right. You know what? They're going to go in. They're going to be six and a half point dogs. I'll take the points. And I just feel like, let's see it. Pull the pin and then let's roll. Like, what? what is there to fear? It's nothing to fear, Mike. It's, you're you're, but you're scared, it, though. No, you are. You're no, scared of the opponent, Rico. It's not scared of the opponent. It's that's a better opponent. Good. It just is. Good. Now, as I was getting admonished today on the phone by David, as he told me, oh, David, I, I, oh. I felt, I was, yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Oh, I like this. Be- yes. Here's why. Because you're complaining, oh, it's the opponent. If you played them week one, week eight, week 15, you would say the same thing. Oh, they're Kansas City. They're this, they're no, that. We're not better than them. I wouldn't Doesn't say. Doesn't matter. No, Play them. No, I wouldn't say that any other week except for this is where it feels like at the end of the game, it's the Lions coming out party or you're the Kansas City homecoming opponent. Coming out party. Where they got their rings, they got the circumstance, they raised the banner, they threw a party, and they just happen to have you as their homecoming opponent. I'll tell you right now, you put it on a board, they'll cover they'll cover the spread. Yeah. Okay. I would just rather them they'll find that out. And a half. They'll cover the spread. They're I would just play rather them, them find that out right now. At the at the beginning of the season. Are we for real? Can we keep right. up with a real team? That's if what we I want to march around saying we're gonna win the division, that's big boy stuff. We have to be in these games, these prime time games against big teams. That's big boy stuff. And Kenny, for how long did people go? The league doesn't like us. Wah. Well, now they like there us. There you go. So let's show out. Let's let's I don't expect to win, but I expect them to cover and I expect them to not show their and ass the on the league. National doesn't, TV. The league does not if we go back, now we'd have to Google and do all this. Look at the last 10 league openers, 15 league openers on that Thursday night. They hand select what they're doing. I thought it was going to be the rematch with the Eagles. I thought it was going to be Chiefs, Eagles. So how's it any better going into Philly versus going into Kansas City? It's the same thing. They're both machines. No, no. play them. I thought it was going to be the Eagles taking on the Chiefs. Oh, okay, okay. So that's what I mean. Like, okay, I get a a little bit of revenge. It's like, oh. Oh, I love okay. it. And you know what? Screw the Germany thing. I don't want the Lions in Germany. I don't want to play in Europe. Why I don't not? I don't like any of it. It's it's silly, and I don't need a game at 9 a.m. The but, Jags say playing in overseas is great. Yeah, that's because their owner wants to move the team to London. <laughs> 248-539-9797. I want to know where you're at. Like, to me, you asked for this. You yes. begged for this. Yes. So here it is. I don't think you have a right to complain about it. And if you're scared, it means you're not ready. You're not ready for this season. And you're not ready with what comes along with it. I have said, you're going to win this division. We're getting a home playoff game. I will live with it. If they fall short, you can make fun of me. If they falter, they're terrible, I'm right here for you. But the one thing I'm not is I'm not scared. If you sat there and you cry, the league doesn't like me. (laughs) Well, here it is. They gave you open billing. Yeah. And no, I, I, you're, you're you're on the main stage. And good. You know what else, Rico? I'm a big believer in this. I think if you play a game like this, it's an opportunity to get better. It's an opportunity to show your guys, hey, no, you know, hey, you know what your girlfriend telling you how special you are? Your wife's friends are telling you how special you are. Well, here's the deal. These are the games you have to go compete in. And if you go and you don't win, it's a teaching point. It gives you a harsh reminder of what level we got to be at every week. I'm good with it. And you know what? You're right. Odds will tell you they'll open up 0-1. I don't care. Right. And see, young secondary, that's what I'm saying. If they played them in week two, week three, it gives those times time to gel. But if not, man, you're going up against the best. We can surprise them with Jameer Gibbs. Let's go. Okay. I'm in. All right. Touchdown, Gibbs. Okay. What? No. I just, listen, I want to hear the people. Oh, it's going up on the board. This, Put it on the board. Give you the six and a half. They'll cover the number. Okay. They will be ready to play. We are the NFC Tennessee Titans.
We're going to turn it into a street fight. It's going to be all right. <laughs> okay. Jack Campbell's going to break Travis Kelsey's ribs. He's out. There you go. And away we go. So David. It's going to look like the NFC Championship game? Yes. Okay. Here's what I have for Bring you. Bring the body bags. <laughs> Bring them. Here's what I have for you, and we can go through it when we get back. I do have all the last you gonna speak openers nicer for the to NFL. Today? I don't know about that. We'll see. I'll debate Quite it with a contentious myself. phone call this morning. I, 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 I want to hear more about your call. You know what? I'll give it to you next. Oh, this is good. Because David was not in a mood. <laughs> 